Do you know the five secrets of successful people? Don't tell anyone your secrets. Do you know the five secrets of unsuccessful people? Tell everyone your lessons learned. From the lessons learned from my first selling experience, you will get three golden rules on how to make any sale a success. And they are, number one, know your product. Number two, know your buyer. And number three, know your price. Contest chair, fellow Toastmasters and guests. This was in the early 1980s and I was a teenager growing up in India. My uncle Joe, who lived abroad, was visiting us. He was a very kind-hearted man. One day he asked me, Johnson, what are your career plans? I was going to college in a few months. I was very excited. I told him, I don't know. Well, let's see if you have an aptitude for marketing and sales. He then pulled out a box from his suitcase. It contained 10 brand new audio cassettes. Now, this was the time before CDs and iPods. Do you remember this? He handed me the box and said, these are pop music tapes from different artists. Each tape cost me $5. You can sell it at any amount above $5 and keep all the profit. Wow, I was going to make some real money soon. I immediately thought of my classmate, Adam Ramsey. He was a fun-loving guy. He loved this kind of music and his parents who are wealthy. The next day, I mentioned this to him at school and he was thrilled. He said, Johnson, please come home and show these tapes to my mom. She will buy all of them as my birthday is coming up soon. On that sunny Saturday afternoon, there I was seated on the plush leather sofa in Adam's big living room. His mother entered the room. She was slim, tall, and a bit serious looking. I held the box and said, Mrs. Ramsey, these are very good music cassettes from abroad. She said, hmm, first let me listen to one song and then I will decide. I opened the box and took out the cassette on top. The label read, Donna Summer. I gave it to Adam and he put it inside a big fancy music system on the sideboard. Soon melodious music filled the room and then Donna Summer began to sing and her first line was, Ooh, love to love you baby. What? I don't sound like Donna Summer? I know, I know, I'm no singer, but this was a love song, one I had never heard before. And then Donna Summer began to mourn very seductively. Mrs. Ramsey began to glare at me angrily. I looked at Adam anxiously and he was grinning at me mischievously. I motioned to him to stop the music and he chose to ignore me. I thought in a few minutes this song will end and so will my misery. But no, this song kept going on and on and on. It was a nightmare. When it finally ended, Mrs. Ramsey's face was as red as a ripe tomato. You are trying to spoil my son with these terrible songs. You are a bad influence. Take these tapes and leave now. But Mrs. Ramsey, your son is teaching me how to smoke. But I didn't tell her that. I picked up the box and left the room 
so disappointed. My hopes of making such a big sale was suddenly shattered like broken glass. And my reputation was in tatters like the jeans worn by the teens. All because of one song. This brings us to the three rules from the lessons learned. Number one, know your product. I should have checked the songs before going to Adam's house that day. Many years later, after research, I found out that this song by Donna Summer, titled Love to Love You Baby, when it was first released, was even banned by some radio stations in the United States and in Europe. It was also one of the longest songs ever recorded at 16 minutes and 49 seconds. The duration of my nightmare. Rule number two, know your buyer. It was Mrs. Ramsey I had to convince to pay for these tapes. I should have inquired from Adam beforehand what songs she liked. When Adam finally resumed talking to me, he said, my mother likes songs by Bonnie M and Abba. Oh no, those songs were in that box on that fateful day. Rule number three, know your price. The cost of each tape was $5. I was so taken up by Adam's big house, his big fancy music system. I thought $25 is not too big a price. Later, I found out that the same tapes were being sold in the local stores at less than half my selling price. Thankfully, this mistake was not exposed. There you have it, the three golden rules on how to make any sale a success. They have helped me and will benefit you as well. As for those 10 cassettes, I never sold any of them and Uncle Joe never inquired about them. I enjoyed listening to those songs over the years. And whenever I heard a Donna Summer song, who came to mind but red-faced Mrs. Ramsey? Contest chair.